I don't care how good you are. I don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much you work on yourself. There are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. So many people I talked to at that time for Ali Pay, they say, this is the stupidest idea you have ever got. Whenever you learn something, all you're really doing is creating a relationship between two things. So if I want to learn something, so how do I learn this? It's not figuring things out. That's how most of us think of learning. Learning is not figuring things out. Learning is the creation of a relationship between two things. Something you already know, the known. Something you already know, it's in your head already. You understand it. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. If you ask a lousy question, you get a lousy answer and a lousy state. So why does this always happen to me? It doesn't always happen to you, but the brain's like a computer. Ask it a question, it'll have to come up with an answer. Because you deserve it, you idiot. Once you break through, then it just becomes a game. The people that are getting your products have not yet broken through in most cases. The breakthrough happens by conditioning your mind every day, by feeding it a role model or story. It's putting yourself in a peak state and you fall through by getting physically strong. It's creating a little ritual of doing a little bit each day and then you get momentum. But if you want to grow orchids or roses or any kind of exotic flowers, there are special processes and procedures you must go through. It's not what you've gone through, it's where you're going to be going. That everything you have gone through in your life is a down payment on your destiny. So don't quit, don't throw in the towel, don't quit, don't hate your life because what you've gone through, people need to hear your story, your testimony, your journey, not just pedantic nomenclature and academic jargon, but from your heart. Yes. What have you gone through, man, woman? Tell us about it. And that sets people, the Bible says, they shall overcome by the power of their testimony. See, we want to be quiet and be ashamed and not talk. Everything's fine. Yeah. I'm wonderful. And all hell's breaking loose in our lives. We got to get real and share with each other how we made it through. If you don't have your health, your health is valuable. Develop a health plan, a plan that you will follow because this is the only vehicle that you have to carry you through this experience called life. And you want to take good care of it because you love you enough, you care enough about you. And that's not easy. It is not easy having a health plan and sticking to it. And what a breakthrough simply is, is that moment in time where there's an opening. And the opening can come from a conversation, it can come from meeting somebody that inspires you, it can come from an insight, it can come from watching a movie and being moved emotionally at just that right moment. It usually comes because something kind of clicked inside of us, something snapped us and made us look at life through a different filter, in a different way. And you know it's a real breakthrough because you take that little insight, that little distinction, that little moment, or maybe that little or big emotion inside of you that says, no more, I'm going to change this. Thank you.